26 pounds, 8 ounces. 25 pounds, 11 ounces. Five fish for 25 pounds, 11 ounces. 25 pounds, 7 ounces. Waddington, New York, some call it the carp capital of the world. I'm going to tell you there's a whole new fish in town. Check out these big brown beasts from beneath Waddington, New York. Let me hear ya. Are you kidding me? Can those numbers be real? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, those numbers are real. And we are talking about smallmouth bass because we are going to one of the most special places on Earth. This event that all the anglers get up for each and every year. Let's take you up to extreme upstate New York. Let's take you to the St. Lawrence River, Waddington, New York. And we are ready to go around on this fishery, Davy Height, which has just been unbelievable for years and years. But now it's on another level. Welcome to Toyota Bassmaster Studios and welcome to the Hook Bassmaster Elite on the St. Lawrence River. And Davy, we've been waiting for this one and it is not disappointing. Not disappointing. We've been coming here for quite a few years with the elites. It gets better and better. I don't know. When is it going to stop getting better and better? These fish get bigger and bigger every time we come here. Absolutely, and it started on day number one with Matt Lee and his big, giant limit of fish. According to Bass Track, Matt Lee's got a pretty big bag here, and by the looks of the way Tripp is struggling with it, he sure does. 26.9 to take the lead. 27 pounds, 12 ounces, 27, 12, and Matt Lee is your brand new leader. He weighs in the big ever weighed in in Waddington, New York. 27 pounds, 12 ounces. It was stupid day. I mean, it was awesome. God bless me. <laughs> yeah. We've been here a lot. Yeah, I mean, uh, smallmouth were good to me last year. You told me I needed to move north from Alabama. And before this, I said uh, Champlain was my favorite lake in the country. I, after today, you start to rethink things kind of day that takes your breath away and it was true for so many of the anglers in this field. You watch these giant smallmouth continue to hit the stage time after time again. The top six over 25 pounds on day number one. And maybe there's a statistic that's even more impressive than that. Look at this heavyweight bags over 20 pounds. Last year the entire event only 48. Day one here 52 bags over 20 pounds. That's almost unthinkable. As we move on into day number two with uh, obviously high expectations for that day is the full field of 107 anglers takes to it. And I'll tell you what, Davey, these guys cannot wait. Let's look at those numbers right there. And this is just the top 12 there. How impressive those numbers are. 24 pounds to make the top 12 on day number one. And of course, we'll have the full field again. Matt Lee at the top and following him with 26-8 on day one, David Walker. Hey, Tommy, we're not accustomed to seeing David Walker with a spinning rod in his hand. He caught the biggest smallmouth of his life yesterday, six pounds, seven ounces. I think he's enjoying this spinning rod right now. This is a bass. This is a real bass. Oh my God, look at that one. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Oh. oh, man, alive right there. Tank. That is a tank. Look at that. Look how big that fish is. <laughs> I feel I feel good about things. It's hard not to when you catch closing in on 50 pounds of smallmouth for two days. Big one. Big one. Yes. That's fun. A lot of fun. Especially you gotta catch them on this little thread, little drop shot, yeah. tiny line. That can be so frustrating, but we've managed to make it happen. He bit it. <laughs> but it's tougher today, but it feels more like a tournament today. Yeah. Oh, we got a real bass here. God bless. This is a donkey. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm pretty happy with the bag I got. I mean, the only thing that makes you feel a little disappointed by having 20 pluses because yesterday 20 plus was half the field. <laughs> that, sir, that is fun. That's just fun, man. What a place. What a place. God, I love this place. 
That's a portrait of a guy having a career fishing day, just laughing and talking his way, enjoying the pure exhilaration of catching all those big small mouth. And David Walker, 22 pounds, almost 23 pounds to hang in there in second place. But after two days of fishing, it's going to be the young man from Tennessee looking for his first win, Brandon Lester. He's looking for 22 pounds and nine ounces to take the lead. Five fish, 25 pounds, 13 ounces. 25, 13, giving him 50 pounds and an ounce and the overall lead. Well, there you go, Brandon Lester, 25 pounds and 13 ounces. Take a look at the top 12 after day number two, and Brandon Lester literally on track for the century mark. Can that even be something we can consider at this point? Maybe a little bit early for that, but man, the weights continue to impress at the St. Lawrence. We'll be back to start day three when we return. The Hook Bassmaster Elite at St. Lawrence River, presented by Black Velvet, is brought to you by Yamaha, Skeeter Boats, Power Pole, Humminbird. Bassmaster Elite Series. This is the Hook Bassmaster Elite at the St. Lawrence River presented by Black Velvet. This has been a smallmouth extravaganza. Numbers like we have never seen before over the first couple of days. Look at that, Brandon Lester, two days, 50 pounds on track for the century mark, literally. Walker, Bertrand, the top 12 there. So impressive and it goes way on down that leaderboard. Now we got 50 anglers ready to go on day number three and these anglers are getting pretty dialed in on what's going on here. Uh, mainly just a little Ned Rig, a little Ned Rig worm. Um, I seen that the, some of the fish that I was fishing for bit that way better than a drop shot. So that's why I've just stuck with that. There are plenty of fish out there, but they're starting to feel the pressure. There are a lot of boats fishing the same type of stuff. Putting them in the boat is such a big deal here. They're such big, powerful fish, and you're using light lines, small hooks. And the guy that's standing in the weighing line that doesn't have the story of the five pounder or five pounders that he lost is the guy that's gonna be in the lead after today. Dude, I mean, 25, 13 yesterday, that's my biggest bag of smallmouth I've ever weighed in. Probably the biggest bag I've ever caught, fun fishing or anything. I mean, I'm thinking, I need another at least 24 today. That's my goal, you know? I mean, that, that's a high goal, don't get me wrong, but I mean, I, I feel like it's definitely possible. All these guys, high expectations, and why not? And Davey Hyde, I know you heard what Josh Bertrand said. The winner might be the guy who doesn't have to talk about the five pounders that he lost during the course of this event. As we take off upstream the St. Lawrence River, heading toward Lake Ontario, and here's where we pick up Brandon Lester, our leader. Tommy, these guys have really gotten dialed in at this point in the tournament. The leaders know exactly where these smallmouth are located. Brandon Lester is starting really deep. When he moves shallow, he catches them. Look how fat that thing is. Come here, girl. Yes, sir. Not a giant. It'll get us started. Three and three quarter on the first drop. Well, you know you've got it dialed in when you're on the St. Lawrence River and your first drop, you catch a smallmouth like that. These anglers have really got it dialed in on day three. Brandon Lesser is starting out in 50 or 60 right. feet of water, but catching these fish when he drifts into about 30. 352, three and a half. It's fat. Well, I can't believe I'm saying this, Tommy Sanders, but that might not be one he needs to weigh in this afternoon if he's gonna maintain that lead. It's absolutely incredible the size of these fish that these anglers are catching, and you know you've got to have a four or four and a half pound average to stay in the hunt and win this tournament. Yeah, Brandon Lester's had that look on his face like, I've got not only what you're seeing here, but I've got some other tricks up my sleeve as well. It might pay us to spend a good bit of time with our leader, and of course we will on this third day of competition on the St. Lawrence.
big it. It's not a giant, but it'll <laughs> definitely help. Yes, sir. More like it. Let's see what she weighs. 427. More like what we need. Well, that one will certainly help Brandon Lester. He had to make a little adjustment. We haven't seen him fishing these pilings, but you have to know on the St. Lawrence River, if you don't have almost 20 pounds, you've got to make some adjustment. And Brandon Lester has done a good job today staying in the hunt. Absolutely, but just under 20 pounds, and that drops him from first all the way down to fourth. He jumps in to take his place. Well, among them, Justin Lucas. He's 23 pounds across the board for the first three days of fishing. Josh Bertrand started out with almost 26 pounds. He hangs in there with a 22 and today 23-9. And the man who assumes the lead after three days of fishing, the Tennessean David Walker. He is on a roll on the St. Lawrence. Oh, boy. Came in today with 49 pounds and six ounces. He's got five fish looking for 18-6. 22.15 with 72 pounds and five ounces. David Walker is your brand new leader. Just like that, he moves to the top of the leaderboard. David Walker has not stopped smiling since he hit down, I think, here in Waddington, New York. There's the list, the top 12 who fish on Championship Sunday. And a couple of guys in that top 12 involved in another important race. We'll get into that and definitely get into more of this fantastic smallmouth fishing when we come back. Oh, time seems to fly when you're catching giant limits of smallmouth. This is actually the fourth and final day. We're already into it on this Hook Bass Master Elite on the St. Lawrence River. There are your top 12 anglers, and those are three days' weights of smallmouth bass. If you're just joining us, this is a phenomenal event we've got going on right here. And these 12 anglers cannot wait to get out, and who knows what the outcome will be today. I feel pretty good. You know, we're only a couple ounces back at first, and it's cool to know that you're at least within striking distance and anything can happen. I mean, out of the top of you guys, whoever catches them best today is going to be the one that wins. 25 is the number in my mind. I feel like if I catch 25, I've got a legitimate chance because they've got to catch at least 23. It's our fourth top 12 in a row, man. It's crazy. Uh, it's something that I'm, I'm pretty proud of, and I'm really excited to get back out there. We're going for the throat, man. All right, we're gonna make us about a 45 minute run. We're gonna go down here and bump around, have some fun. Rick Morris and 11 other anglers heading upstream, which is actually going south on these 100 miles. Of the St. Lawrence River that we are dealing with this time around, they are headed down toward the mouth of Lake Ontario. You cannot fish Lake Ontario, but this is as late as we've ever been here with the Elite Series Davy. These fish are fed up better and they're a little bit deeper. They're deeper. I can tell you, Tommy, the, the most exciting thing I've ever done in tournament fishing is to go fishing on Championship Sunday when you know you're going to catch them. It's going to take 20 pounds to win, and all these anglers know that they've got to catch 20 plus pounds to have a chance to win. David Walker with the lead going into today, off to a good start, catching numbers of fish, but not the size that he needs. And it's un unfortunate to put five fish in the live well and know that you're going to have to replace all five of them. That one's bigger, for sure. Yes. Now we got a bass. Golly, they just don't quit. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! That's bigger than four powder. Yeah, right there. <laughs> Woo! How about that? Give me some. Give me some. Look at this. That's a five pounder. God, oh, when he cleared the water, he was like away from me. So I didn't see him like lengthwise. I seen him that way. And I thought he's a four. No. Bigger than a four. Oh, I gotta re, re regroup here. I gotta Lost my sinker again. 
Oh. Well, after starting with a few of smaller fish that he hopes to replace, he certainly does not have to replace that fish. If he catches four more like that, he'll hold up that blue trophy this afternoon. Tom. Absolutely. Our leader, David Walker, with that fish right there, solidifies his lead, but it's still early on on this final day of competition as we head down to Justin Lucas, a guy who's uh, synonymous with consistency. That's certainly been his story here. The St. Lawrence River just bang on 23 pounds each and every day. He's only got one fish so far, but he hasn't lost much ground to the field. He's hanging in there in third place. Might be a might help for sure. Well, let's say it's definitely going to help, right? Because I only got one fish, but I think it's a good one for number two. For sure. Come here, homie. Oh. Yeah, you're hooked good, bro. You gotcha. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. That's a fatty. Oh. Blind in one eye. Call it a four. Okay. That fish is certainly going to help him this morning. You might wonder why you put a four pounder in a live well and you get in the driver's seat to, to start up your engine. Well, the current's so strong here, it pushes you off these spots, and they're fishing very specific spots here on the St. Lawrence. Justin Lucas, we heard him talk earlier before the fishing began today. One of the things he is the most proud of is the fact that this is his fourth 12 cut in a row. You can't imagine how difficult that is to do against the rest of the field, and obviously that's putting him on top. Let's talk about a Toyota Bassmaster Angler of the Year points race, and he is right on top there. 715 points, and look at that lineup. You see those last four events, top 12s in each one of them. The Kentucky Lake 73rd, the only cut missed, only blemish really on his dance card for this season of 2018. Here's the full top 12 right there. And it's going to be a 50 man field that's going to be able to qualify to go to Toyota Bassmaster Angler of the Year Championship. A 50 man field means that mathematically, if it stayed right here, those two at the top, it would definitely be a race between solely those two anglers, Justin Lucas and Josh Bertrand. And now let's look at Josh Bertrand and have a look at his season right here. Here's the remarkable thing about his season every tournament. He made the cut, not as many top 12s as Justin Lucas, but Josh Bertrand has got plenty to brag about as well on his best year so far on the Bassmaster Elite Series 2018. And again, just nine points behind Justin Lucas as we get closer and closer to establishing those 50 anglers who fish Toyota Bassmaster Angler of the Year championship time coming up next. That's a good one. Four pounds. Thank you. It's a nice fish. <laughs> Look how fat these fish are. It's hilarious. Ah, good stuff. Mm. Let's do it again. Good start for Josh Bertrand right there. Started the day in second place. Take a look at our leader from day number two, but started today in fourth place. This is Brandon Lester, and the field has been catching him. He's still looking to get on the board, currently sitting in seventh place, but he's hooked up. There we go. That's so big right there. Dude, that's a big one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm, that's one of the ones we need. Come here, girl. Oh my gosh. Yes. 
God, what a small mouth. Dude, I'm talking about an absolute freaking stud. Look at that thing. God. Dude, I, I gotta know what that thing weighs. That might be the biggest one I've caught all week. Golly, I'm shaking. You got a small mouth like that. That's it. Biggest one all week. Six to six. Freaking giant. Boom! Well, it took Brandon Lester just a little longer to put his first fish in the live well, but when they're that size, it doesn't matter. That's the kind you need to catch. And Brandon Lester just made up his deficit. He's in the hunt today. A six plus on championship Sunday. It doesn't get any better than that. If you were thinking about a Brandon Lester decline after day number two, the decline may have been arrested right now. He is headed in a different direction. He's moved from seventh all the way up to fourth place. Brandon Lester with his eyes on his first trophy ever on the Bassmaster Elite Series. Some of them catching fish all day. Some guys like Rick Morris catching only five fish during the day. The bottom line is you better have 20 plus before this day's over. Yeah, I'll show her to you. Yeah, don't start getting me this fired up. The Hook Bassmaster Elite at St. Lawrence River, presented by Black Velvet, is brought to you by Minn Kota. Hook. Mercury. Nitro Boats. Here we are at the Hook Bassmaster Elite at the St. Lawrence River presented by Black Velvet, the final event of the regular season for the Bassmaster Elite Series, AKA the smallmouth showcase of the season by any measurement. You put the best anglers on earth out here with this population, growing population in individual size and numbers out here catching them. It's amazing to watch and I can't wait to see our Skeeter boats taste the bait, but I also know Davey, it's gonna be a limited menu today. You're exactly right, Tommy. When you go to a small mouth event up north, you know you're gonna see a lot of the anglers using a drop shot and they were doing just that. David Walker, Brandon Lesser, Justin Lucas, Josh Bertrand, using a drop shot, adjusting the leader length just a little bit, the size of the weight for the drop shot a little bit, fishing a variety of depths. David Walker, one in particular, fishing a little shallower than some of the others. But the big thing that I saw different in the top five was a Carolina rig, which you don't see a Carolina rig very often anymore in these events. Rick Morris was catching some big smallmouth fish, just not getting the bites that the other guys were getting. And if he would have been able to get 10 bites a day, which most of these other anglers were, were getting 20 or 30, he could have won this thing if he would have got a few more bites. This should be the one. Bring her right over in here if she don't you jump. Ah. Oh, how about that one? There's one, he's almost five. Yeah, I'd say she's five. Well, there you can see why Rick Morris has been so patient with that Carolina rig. Not a lot of bites, but they are the right size. Again, Rick Morris only catching about five fish a day so far. We have to up his tally a little bit today. Josh Bertrand started the day just three ounces back in second place. And he is hanging in there. Four fish today, no giants, but nothing is random with this guy. You ask him, it's all pretty well thought out. When you get this much wind, you still want your bait to move the same speed the current's moving, but the wind pushing the boat twice as fast. So you've got to try to remember what the current, what speed the current would be going. You kind of feel it with your bait, and you're literally, you're just trying to match that speed. So I've got the trolling motor on like 50, 60% right now and we're still going backwards almost a mile an hour, and that's about the speed that your boat's gonna drift without any wind in general. And that varies from spot to spot, depending on how much current there is. It feels solid. It's over three, I think. All right, that'll help. That's a three and a half. Three and a half. I mean, that's a chunk. 
Well, there you go, Josh Bertrand able to take over the lead. He started again just a few ounces back, but those five fish there put him on top for now. And so it's shaping up as a battle between the two guys leading Toyota Bassmaster Angler of the Year, Lucas and Bertrand. There's one. That might be a good one. Holy crap. That's a sure enough certified monster right there. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Got her, baby! Yeah! I'll show her to you. Yeah! Don't start getting me this fired up. We still got all day. Woo! Oh, dude, when she jumped, oh my gosh. Holy crap. And I knew, dude, when I laid into that one, I was like, oh, gosh. Heavy, dude, heavy, heavy. That one right there, he answers Josh Bertrand's take over the lead with a few body shots right there, and it's Lucas on top again. But we have got a lot more twists oh and turns, ups and downs before this thing is settled. More to come on the Bassmaster Elite Series. Got him! Woo! That's a beast! Last day of school, final day for the Bassmaster Elite 2018 on the St. Lawrence River, this Hook Bassmaster Elite event. And right now, we are hovering above our leader for now, Justin Lucas. Current's so strong, man. When you drop on one, you get a, your line's moving backwards the whole time. So it's, it's really tough to actually drop on one and put it in front of them. You gotta, Time it just right, and your cast and angle, everything just right. Come on, wind. I don't even care if you blow. Blow harder. Make it harder on the other guys down the lake. There's one. Don't know if it's going to be a good one or not. It's coming up. Oh, dude. Come here. That's a good one, dude. Need this guy. Got him! Woo! That's a beast! Oh, dude. It might be going down. All right. We got some colon to do now. Well, Tommy, there's always a point on Championship Sunday where you sort of know you've got a chance to win or you don't. And right now, Justin Lucas is feeling it. He knows he has a chance to win. David Walker, on the other hand, started the day in the lead, but he's only got one good fish in the box right now. He needs to get four more in a hurry. Coming up, coming up. I don't know. He thought about jumping and changed his mind. And I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Turn around. You see that? Gotcha. That's a better fish. That's a better fish. <sighs> nice big round one. Nice big round one, all right. That's mm -hmm. the kind that yeah. David Walker needs. Yeah. He put that in the box. A few more of those, and he can hold up the trophy this afternoon, Tommy. He's in second place right now is David Walker with plenty more fishing time left to go. Let's take a look at Josh Bertrand. His three-day total really anchored by day number one. 
over 25 and a half pounds. He's been solid ever since, though. 22 and change, 23 and change. Let's take a look at his career. Two second places in Bass Pro Shop Bass Masters Opens at uh, Table Rock Lake and Louisville Lake. His best Elite Series finish back in 2013 when he was just getting started as an Elite Series angler back on Falcon Lake, if you remember that tournament. But right now, he's looking to move up, needs another good one. They're down there. We found him. We haven't caught a giant one here yet, but it seems like there are quite a few three and a half to four pounders right here. There could be a big one mixed in. This one looks like it's about four. He came up the boat real fast. I don't mind him getting a little tired out before I try to grab him. This is a nice fish. Oh, a little bit bigger. That one's pushing four. We'll give it four. Getting us in a little bit of a comfort zone at least. We need fives. Well, that puts Josh Bertrand in the lead, as a matter of fact. He says now we need fives. That's his estimate. That four right there, good enough for the lead for the time being. Well, let's take you from Josh Bertrand, our leader, back to the man who led after two days of competition here. Brandon Lester still hasn't got it really rolling today. Well, Josh was right. You need fives, but let's not forget, Brandon Lester started the morning off with a six-pounder, which goes a long way. If he could get one more big bite like that, Brandon Lester could win this tournament. Let's not forget, he has one over six in the live well. Oh my gosh, I'm talking about a freaking giant. Gosh, stay on, baby. Please stay on there. Dude, that's another six pounder. Please come here. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh my. Probably a hundred grand right there. Gosh dang it. Nothing you can do, dude. It just popped out. First one I've lost all week. Hmm. <sighs> Makes me want to puke. Gosh almighty, are you kidding me? Uh. Oh well, if that one was there, there's another. There. <laughs> Dad, gun it, man. Golly. We see it there, Tommy. Sometimes fishermen do tell the truth, the big ones get away. The biggest fish. I've seen on camera so far, Brandon Lester had right beside the boat. He already has one over six pounds in the live well. He knows this fish is potentially the winning fish, a $100,000 fish. Nothing he did wrong, just couldn't get his hands in the mouth. He'll remember that one for a long, long time. Part of it, dude. We still got plenty of time. Good news is we found a drift that's got some fish on it. It's all good. Like you said, Davey, there are moments you remember catching a six pounder to start on the final day. That's a huge moment. This, unfortunately, is a huge moment as well. Needing another six pounder to sort of shore up and get back close to that lead and this one comes off. No, nope, neither one will be forgotten. The Hook Bassmaster Elite at St. Lawrence River, presented by Black Velvet, is brought to you by Abu Garcia, Berkeley, Triton Boats,
Toyota. Have they saved the best for last? You can make a pretty good argument about that. This final tournament of 2018, the Hook Bass Master Elite of the St. Lawrence River, presented by Black Velvet. Just an incredible, record-setting performance of smallmouth catching throughout this entire field, or most of it anyway. One of the guys who led the day, this man, Brandon Lester, your second day leader, and certainly not out of it to start this final day. In fact, he started with a six pounder, but moments ago, he just lost a six pounder. Nothing you can do, dude, it just popped out. First one I've lost all week. <sighs> mm. Makes me want to puke. Biggin. It's not as big as that last one, but it's a good one. Oh my gosh, come here. Yes, sir. Whew. Yes. Not as big as the one I just lost, but we got plenty of time. Well, I don't think he'll ever forget about the one he just lost over six pounds, but that's some good pain medicine for right now. Putting one in his live well over four pounds, probably a good solid four and a half pounds, which I think will put him in the lead. That's what we've got him at right now, and hats off to him for putting the distractions aside. And the distraction was a big time when losing a fish like that. Right now, we've got a tight race nonetheless. Lester on top, one of the men trying to catch him, Justin Lucas. Can't tell. Can't tell, man. No, it's a it's a good one. Got her! Yeah! That's a tank, dude. Oh my gosh. Barely, look where it's hooked right there. Well, the final moments of the most exciting smallmouth tournament I've ever seen in my lifetime, he's saying, Justin Lucas has not finished yet. Another quality fish there. And we got Lucas, we got Bertrand, we got Brandon Lester, all with giants in the last 20 to 30 minutes of fishing here on the St. Lawrence River. You're right, Davey, it does not get any better than this. Time for one more drift from Justin Lucas. If he can repeat that, who knows what's gonna happen. Come here. Come here. That's definitely gonna help. Oh my gosh! Woo! Got you! Now that's our small one, and that's got to be pushing four, dude. Got to be. Smallest fish pushing four. You got to figure Justin Lucas has got at least 23 pounds in the boat at this point right now. And so we've got him in the lead now as it stands with time ticking away. Still a shot for Josh Bertrand. He's been steady all day, Davey. He's just been looking for that one giant to put him over the top. He said it earlier. Got to have a five. He's that five pounder to put him over the top. Let's not forget, Josh Bertrand is fishing more places. He has more spots that he's catching these fish, and that means everything on Sunday afternoon. This is the fourth day of the tournament. A lot of fishing pressure. Having multiple spots could pay off for Josh Bertrand. He needs that one big fish. He has a lot of places that he has it pressured very hard. We'll see if he can do it in these final minutes. Feels big. Oh, yeah. 
That's a giant. That's an absolute giant. Stay on. Stay down. Oh my god. It's a good. Come here, come here. Look at that thing, dude. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. I can't believe that thing. I'm shaking. Right here, dude. God, that's a toad. Five and a half. That's a toad. I had drifted off the shoal. I was just about to pick it up and pick the trolling motor up. I mean, literally within a couple seconds and it just got heavy. Little gulp minnow, that little bitty bait. I can't call it a six, but it's a toad. Oh my God, that feels good. Woo! I needed that thing. Overall, it was a tougher day. I don't think I've got as much weight as I've had any of the other days. I probably got, I don't know, 21, 22 pounds, something like that. But uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm definitely not ecstatic about where we're sitting right now, but we've got we've to try to get this fish weighed in and maybe by chance there's other two guys that were at the top struggled. We'll see. Yeah, that's what everybody's thinking right now. What is going to be the final outcome here? This crowd is in place. Waddington, New York, always putting up the record crowds, and they are ready to see this tight, tight race decided once and for all to end the 2018 season for the Bassmaster Elite Series. We start with Brandon Lester. 24 pounds, 3 ounces! 24-3, Waddington, New York. You have a brand new leader. He is your current Toyota Bassmaster Angler of the Year leader. Get loud for Justin Lucas. He needs 23-15 to take the lead. 24 pounds, three ounces, 24, three. Your brand new leader is Justin Lucas. If I'm gonna lose to anyone, uh, Josh and I, we used to travel together. You know, if I'm gonna lose to anyone, I hope he wins it. He's an incredible fisherman. Let's hear it for Justin Lucas, your leader. He's in a showdown with Justin Lucas for Toyota Bassmaster Angler of the Year. Get loud for Josh Bertrand. That's what this sport's all about, guys. 72-2, he needs 22-5. 23-1, 23 pounds and an ounce. Where do you see that in pro sports, ladies and gentlemen? Have a seat for just a minute and let's roll through the number one angler from today. From Sevierville, Tennessee, David Walker. Boy, this is gonna be close. Starting today with 72 pounds and five ounces, looking for 22.15. 20 pounds, six ounces. 2018 hook fishing a Bassmaster Elite at the St. Lawrence River belongs to Josh Bertrand. Well, Josh Bertrand, what a job. And he's one of these guys, there's a number of them out there who could say, you know what, he's been due. It's gonna happen to Josh Bertrand. Sometimes it happens earlier, sometimes it happens about medium for Josh, but he is a talented young guy. And apparently Davey Hyde, he put together a superior game plan 
uh, practice superior fish care and everything else just fell into place. Yeah, fish care was a big deal in this tournament. They were catching these smallmouth so deep, but it, what was interesting to me, very seldom do you see another competitor sitting in that hot seat with a chance to win a tournament, really pulling for Josh Bertrand even more than he was pulling for himself. Justin Lucas, they're good friends, but they've still got a big battle to, to settle before this year's over with the Toyota Angler Year. Absolutely, and of course they didn't do much movement away from one another during the course of this tournament. I think they started nine points apart. It's still nine points apart and it's coming down to those two guys on Lake Chatoog. How do you size up that battle? Well, I'm really looking forward to it, Tommy. The, really, the last few Angler of the Year championships have been a, a pretty big lead last year. Brandon Polnick had, had a sizable lead. He still had to catch and fish, but this is going to be the closest battle we've had in many years. It's going to be very interesting to see these two young, bright stars battle out for Toyota Angler of the Year. Those two at the top, a lot of other important issues to settle at Toyota Bassmaster Angler of the Year, and we will see you there at Lake Chatoog.